These graduates will provide outpatient and inpatient caregiving from pediatric to geriatric, from cardiology to gynecology. They may start their career with high school diploma or they may achieve doctoral degree, but one thing is clear, and that is they will always be nurses. LVN slash LPN, licensed vocational or also known as practical nurses, work shoulder to shoulder with doctors and surgeons, registered nurses, and other medical practitioners. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome graduating class of the licensed vocational nursing program. What drives these graduates to become nurses? In working with a smaller group of students, um, this gives us the opportunity to reach out to them closer, assess them very well, diagnose their learning needs, and produce expert nurses. First and foremost, a nurse is a provider of care and one of the most valuable members of the team and the community. Job roles of LVNs include and are not limited to the care of the sick and recovering patients. LVNs take care of the patient's health by assessing patients, administering injections, collecting the samples for analysis, wound care, dressing applications, in some cases also performing laboratory testing and other lab work. Today, nurses play a huge role in educating patients and communities in preventative care and stressing, as well as teaching the importance of prevention versus cure. In some states, an LVN never starts an intravenous line, while in others they may be able to obtain IV certifications to perform this procedure. In areas where they don't start IVs, most LVNs can take blood and administer injections. Being an LVN is a rewarding, a challenging, and everyday experience for me. It's, um, it's, it tugs on your heartstrings. It, gives you the feel of being needed um, for people who needs you the most, uh, who wants your support, who wants to feel your care, your love unconditionally. It's also financially rewarding. Did you know that LPNs, LVNs, and RPNs, as well as ENs and SENs are basically the same thing? Licensed Practical Nurses, LPNs, are known as Licensed Vocational Nurses, LVNs, in California and Texas, and as Registered Practical Nurses, RPNs, in Ontario, Canada. They are called Enrolled Nurses, ENs, in Australia and New Zealand, and as State Enrolled Nurses, SENs, in the United Kingdom. Oh, due to the medical advances in health care, LVNs has a lot of more opportunities than before. They can treat uh, patients independently based on those scientific and nursing uh, knowledge. And also, uh, due to the baby boomers, there's increase of the elderly population that become sick and they require more health uh, care, and then LVN is a perfect match for that opportunity. Nursing is the largest health care occupation and one of 10 occupations projected to have the largest numbers of new jobs annually. Some states report current and projected shortages of nurses, primarily due to an aging workforce and recent declines in nursing school enrollments. The demand for nurses has been on the rise for several years, spurred by various economic and demographic factors. Candidates for nursing jobs that are in highest demand include registered nurses, licensed practical nurses, certified nurse assistants, and certified medical assistants. In all states, the District of Columbia and U.S. territories, students must graduate from an approved nursing program and pass a national licensing examination known as the NCLEX-LVN, in order to obtain a nursing license. Nurses may be licensed in more than one state, either by examination or by the endorsement of a license issued by another state. The Nurse Licensure Compact Agreement allows a nurse who is licensed and permanently resides in one of the member states to practice in the other member states without obtaining additional licensure. All states require periodic renewal of licenses, which may require continuing education. 
Typical training period for LVN currently for vocational schools is about 14 months total full time. The course subjects that LVN covers are anatomy and physiology, clinical nutrition, fundamental of nursing. And what's good about becoming LVN at this time that you can advance to a RN within another nine months through the bridge program. This is a great opportunity for people who are interested to become RN after finishing the LVN program and total it's take about two and a half years instead of four and five years spending in school to become RN. Employers, including hospitals, insurance companies, pharmaceutical manufacturers, and managed care organizations, among others, need nurses for health planning and development marketing, consulting, policy development, and quality assurance. Other nurses work as college and university faculty or conduct research. You have the flexibility of time in the sense that you can plot your hours, you can look at shift work, either you want to do night shift, an evening shift, or a morning shift. Either way, you can do other things, many other things, um, in between the hours. To find out more about nursing careers, visit. To find out more about the projections and statistics, visit. To find out about the LVN program or to contact any of the people you have seen in this clip, visit us at medacademy.org.